Hello everyone, back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a save and load position model, like shown here. So if I go over here and click save position, and then I go over here and then load position, it'll teleport me back to that exact position. Um, I'm going to leave this free model in my Discord or in my plugin, if you have it. And I'll also show you how to create it for yourself. So let's get started. Okay, so first step, you want to create a GUI with two buttons called save position and load position. And make sure you have uh, reset on spawn off. So... When you respawn the GUI will stay right here and then you also want to create a remote event in replicated storage and name it position manage and then create a script and service group service now in the script and service group service we want to give the player a value in the character when they join so we can just do game.players.player added connect function player and then now we just give them a C frame value the local pause value position value equals instance dot new c frame value player so it'll create a c frame value in the player and then we'll do pause value dot name equals pause just for position now we do game dot replicated storage dot position manage dot on server event connect function player and then uh funk for just function i guess now we do if funk equals equals save then then we're going to save the player's position so we'll do if player find first child pause then player pause dot value equals player dot character wait for child mirror to root part dot c frame C frame. There we go. So, what this basically does is, if you fire the remote event and pass save as a function, it'll check if the position value is in the player, and then it'll save your player's current C frame to that position value. And then now, underneath here, we'll just do uh, else if else if um func equals equals load then then we do if player find first child pause then just to make sure uh we also have to check if the uh, value set to nil not set to nil so do if and player uh pause dot value is not equal to nil then then we do player dot character set primary part C frame player pause can't type today that value and then that should be the service script done. Let me just make this easier to read. It's kind of it's kind of scuffed as you can see, but it works. Now and these two buttons right here, uh, we just need one line of code, not one line, but probably like two. Do script up parent dot mouse button one click connect function and then we do this one's gonna be for save position so we just do game dot replicate storage dot position manage fire server save and then that'll save the position and then we duplicate the script put it in load position and then just change save to load and then once you go ahead and play then it should um you should be able to save and load the position so if I go over here and click save position, go back to spawn, load position, and then as you can see, um, I load back to the exact position. So yeah, but if you don't want to type out the entire model, it's going to be in my Discord server or in my plugin uh, right here if you have it. Uh, it'll be like right here in video scripts. Um, but yeah, if this video helped you, make sure to subscribe. You can join my Discord server in the link in the description below to get help with anything else. And yeah.